guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is the start of a new cross stitch vlog. So today is Monday, August 2nd. Yeah. So the start of a new vlog. Okay. So you guys know that I signed up for the Shannon Christine designs, Halloween ornament club. And they, she released two more patterns, uh, yesterday. So I wanted to show you what they are because I love, I have to stitch one of these. Absolutely. So trick or treat and then come in for a spell. I like the come in for a spell one because I, I, I love both of them actually. Aren't they just so cute though? And they would be such quick stitches and perfect for like scrapbook layouts. So got those yesterday and you know with stitching and it really with any craft if you're not enjoying it why are you doing it right you know I have no qualms about starting a project hating it and throwing it away I I've, I did that I did that on Saturday so I didn't stitch Friday on Saturday, I really, really wanted to start one of those Carolyn Manning designs. And I think it was Moonstone because it was like one of the smaller ones. You know, the it only winds up being like six by six. I pulled all the colors. I had a piece of, uh, I think it was Lamb's Wool Joblin, something like that. And I stitched a little section and I hated the colors. I hated how they looked. And I'm like, there are so many other ones that I have, though, that I know I'll love. And I'm like, okay, I'm not enjoying this. So I just threw it in the trash. Not the pattern. I'll keep the pattern. Someone had also said, I'm so surprised you're stitching or buying those patterns because I don't really like full coverage. It's also about collecting. Like, even if I never stitch any of those Carolyn Manning designs, I will have all of those patterns. I will keep them. Okay. And then... I have been obsessed with this pattern. I'm almost done Hocus Pocus. Oh, you're going to see. I have to, I don't know why I didn't pull the bag. I hung it here. Yeah. Okay. I'm almost finished. You'll, I'll show you that in a minute. So I had bought this pattern when Jill and I went to the uh, Woodlawn. So we went to end stitches. Jesus. Thread stuck to a sticker on the back of this. Okay. Tiny Modernist Mouse's, ha Mouse's Halloween Stitching. I saw this finished. This is my needle minder that I'm going to have for it. I saw this stitched on Java Girl Stitches and it looked really cute. And originally I had picked um, some Time this. Time Joblin Ada. So I started stitching it on Saturday and I started up here with the mouse's head and the week's dye works that was slated for it. I'm like, it's not showing up. I can hardly see it. I'm like, all right, maybe I need to pick another piece of fabric. So I had gotten this piece of fabric in the mail on Saturday, which is, um, I don't know why I ordered such a small piece. This is 28 count lime Joblin. I'm loving stitching on Joblin again, and I'm so happy about it. Um, and I have so much of it ordered. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, so I was like, okay, let's pull out the colors. And what I wound up doing, because you can do whatever you want. If something is not showing up, change the color. Yeah. So all of the colors, I think white is not going to show up too well on this. I don't know because there's white in her apron and the moon and then that little pin that's stuck in that pin cushion. But the rest of the colors, the green, the orange, all of that, they're going to show up. But the gray, the gray for the mouse. So instead of using the Weeks Dye Works Over Dyed, I decided to just use regular DMC and I picked some darker colors. So I'm hoping these will show up. I mean, it looks like they are, right? But we know that doing this and then stitching it, two different things. But I really loved that lime green fabric. And given that it's such a small piece, I need something small like that, obviously, to stitch it on. So 
I'm not going to be starting that next after Hocus Pocus, but I do have it in there. It will be started at some point. But just to say, like, I started to get perturbed. Like, I don't want to spend so much time finagling my project. I just want to fucking stitch it. You know what I mean? So my next project after Hocus Pocus is going to be another ornament from the Just or another piece from the Just Cross Stitch magazine, the Halloween edition. Um, it is this one. It's called Beware of the Cat by Medina Originals. Forget the witch. Worry about the cat. And that's going to be a quick one, I'm guessing. I say that and then it takes me three weeks. So the fabric I picked, I'm using all of the DMC that they call for. Except for the black, I'm going to use black coffee from Classic Color Works because I have a bunch of it. So I'm going to use that. And for the eyes on the spider, there's a tiny spider on the witch's hat. I'm going to use beads because it says French knots. And we know, hell motherfucking no on French knots. So the colors are bright and pretty and red, orange, green, purple. But the fabric I'm going to use is something I've had in my stash for quite a while. It is 14 count Ada. From, it's called Sunflower Fields, and it's from Seraphim Fabrics. But doesn't it look perfectly Halloween-y? I think that's going to look really good on that. Yeah, so, I and it's soft. It's pretty soft. So, I am going to use that. I thought, I'm going to, obviously, now I'm going to be cutting this big piece. So, I'm going to get to pick what section I want, but... I thought it would look really good on that. Yeah, I have so much Ada that, you know, I got to start using it. Um, I did order some fabric from Be Stitch Me uh, yesterday because Jill said she really likes their fabric. And I was like, okay, I'll give them a shot. Why not? But yeah, I went through the Halloween ornament issue and I pulled out all of the ones I want to stitch. It was quite a bit. It was like five or six different pieces. So yeah, I'll have to put that away in a second. <coughs> okay. Still got a little bit of a pesky cough, but I did receive a slew of Joblin I had ordered from one, two, three stitch. So in addition to that lime green piece, I also got, this is morning dew. I'm not going to unfold them all because then I'll have to it's like a yellowish green. This is Coffee Joblin, which is pretty plain, but is absolutely one of my favorite colors from them. This would be a good substitute if you wanted to stitch like a Mirabilia. You know how she uses that milk chocolate linen, which in my opinion sucks. I hate it. This would be a good substitute if you didn't want to use a hand dyed. Like especially with, I have Gypsy Queen. It would, the colors would pop on this because with something that has that many colors, I think it's tough to use a hand dyed without it like clashing, you know? And this one is orange. Woo! Something nice and black. Halloween-y will look really good on that, wouldn't it? Then I liked the antique copper so much that I bought a fat quarter of it. It's gorgeous. It is... I'm planning on stitching one or one or more of those Halloween ornaments from Shannon Christine on this. It's hard to tell. You can see there's like little bits of copper in there. It's gorgeous. This is chai tea. Another gorgeous one. This is pink dahlia. I just went crazy with the Joe Bloom. This is bittersweet light. So it's like a light peachy orange. This is raspberry light, so like a pink and a white. Sandcastle, which is another one of my favorite ones. That's the one I'm stitching right now, um, the Hocus Pocus piece on. And then this one was kind of outside the box a little bit. This is Stormy Gray. It's very modeled. I usually do not like fabrics like that. But something black and Halloween, yeah, it'll look so good on it. 
And then the last one is Lavender Sunset, which is gorgeous. It's like purpley pink with some green in it. Yeah, lots of fabric. So I have so much more fabric coming. Oh my God. I even like cleared off another whole section of my Ikea cart so I can put all of my fabric in it because we see all that's coming. It's cuckoo crazy pants. Okay. I stitched a lot yesterday on this piece. I will be done this today. Oh no, no, no. Wait a minute. Yeah, I only have the S. And then the web on the side and the little spider. Oh, doesn't it look so good? Okay, the web, let me tell you, the web, it looks like crooked. It's okay. That's what a spider web is supposed to look like. I actually hated stitching it because I just kind of winged it. Instead of me counting like every little thing, I just like fudged it. Just so it matched up to the F, which was the whole point. Um, so then the other web has to match up to the U and part of the S in focus. So yeah, I definitely will be done this today for sure tonight. And then depending on how long that takes me, if I have time today, I may even stitch today when I'm done. Cause it's only 1230 here and I'm done like everything I need to get done today besides mail. Mail, our mail comes so late on Monday because you know, there's no mail on Sunday but isn't it looking so good? Yeah, I absolutely love this so much. But yeah, I stitched that web yesterday. It took me a while. We were watching the Olympics. So I did some stitching, but I love my, I'm telling you, I know I've said this before. I love my conversion for the word coffee. I absolutely, let me move this over here. Actually, I could probably even cut the pattern. Yes, I am that person. Um, I use the original patterns out of the magazine because guess what? I can. <laughs> I bought the magazine. I can do what I want with it, right? So I will. I will cut. I cut the pattern down as I get stitching. Um, oh, yeah, that, that is me. So, thank you guys for really liking my cross-stitch vlogs again. A lot of you said you have resubscribed to my channel because I'm stitching again. So, even my stepdaughter commented yesterday because um, she was like, because they came over and I was stitching and I stitched for like an hour even after they were here. And she was like, oh, I can't believe you're stitching. I'm like, I know, I've really gotten back into it and I'm enjoying it so much and I think no matter what craft I do, I will always, always come back to stitching. If I've just been loving stitching it at night, I just need to fucking get my goddamn stands. The Valky Pataki needs to come. I'll probably get the other one from Russia, the um, Dubco stand, before the Valky Pataki one. I just need a stand to take with me to the retreat. So I need something by the end of September. Yeah, we'll see. So I'm going to end this here. I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is my brother's birthday. Um, I usually just text him. We don't buy gifts or, you know, we don't have that kind of relationship. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow is his birthday and that's it. That's it. I know I, I have stuff coming in the mail today, but I wanted to get this segment filmed. So I will definitely have some haul to show you guys tomorrow, some patterns coming in. Um, but yeah, I'll see you then. Hey guys, so today is Tuesday, August 3rd and no stitching progress. I did not stitch at all last night and I just did not feel like stitching. Um, I probably could have finished the Hocus Pocus piece, but oh well, didn't do any stitching. So um, I do have haul to show you though because I got some in the mail yesterday I ordered some charts from Mad for Minders. I will link them down below. So this one, I have to, I mean, I, I just do not have enough time in the day, right? This one is from Silver Creek Samplers, and it's called Por Favor. Like, are you kidding me? I love wine. I love that pattern. And it's not that big. On 28 count, it's six by four. 
Yeah, I absolutely love that. I love ink circles too. And you know, some of you question my pattern buying choices. And you know, it's also for me about collecting it. Some of these I may never stitch. And my husband and I were talking the other day and I said, there are so many times that I have bought stuff, sold it, repurchased, sold it. I'm not selling anything anymore. And I am dead serious about that. He was like, I said, even if I have it for 30 years, I'm not stitch. I'm not selling fabric or anything again. I'm not doing it. I will just keep the stuff forever and ever and ever. Okay. So this one is Ink Circles Lace Flowers. I had never even seen that. I mean, I've missed so much by um, being away somewhat from the community for a period of time because of um, diamond painting. Okay, this one, you guys are going to be like, why did you buy this? Because you'll never stitch it, but it was just pretty. Sampler Cove Flourish Series Enya. First of all, love Enya's music. Yeah, this is pretty big. It's 157 by 157. Look at that, though. Isn't it fucking gorgeous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gorgissimo. Now, this one, I feel like I want to stitch this one next because it's like Halloween. How big is it? Damn, it is big AF. That's what she said, right? It is 327 wide. The picture is so deceiving because it doesn't look that big. So on 28 count, it's 23 and a quarter by 10 and one eighth. So I would need a fat quarter of fabric. Jesus. It is Hello from Liz Matthews Quaker Pumpkins. Isn't that amazing though? And I mean, it's not solidly stitched, thank fucking God. But and it calls for all week's dye works, but I would probably sub out um, DMC. Oh my God, though, right? Isn't it so pretty? But God damn, 327 wide? Shit. <laughs> okay. And then the last one I got from Mad for Minders is another ink circles, because ink circles, I just, I've completed one. Um, circular logic gorgeous and it's only two colors um Gor goriana silk they used mesa sunset and cinnabar but they give you dmc conversion but you could use whatever colors you wanted but isn't that stunning yeah okay i also received i ordered a bunch more of frosted pumpkin stitcheries um hardcover patterns, you know, like the printed ones. Some of these I own the PDF, but I just wanted the printed version because I wanted it. <laughs> this one, I have to stitch this fall. I have to. I've had this pattern for a while and why have I not stitched it? It is Autumn Harvest Festival. The girl is holding a cup of coffee and she is wearing a headband. Are you kidding me right now? Why have I not stitched this? This would look fantastic on Sandcastle Joblin. Yes. And look, he's picking her an apple. They're collecting apples. She's drinking a fucking coffee. Like, why have I not stitched that? This one is a little cutie Thanksgiving one. Give thanks. Look at that little turkey. Don't you just want to squeeze him? <laughs> I am that person when I see an animal, I shriek and I scream and yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, this one is a gobble to you wobble. I love the, these do so well on perforated paper and a scrapbook finish. They're just fantastic. Look at the pumpkin pie though. Luck and Clover. I don't know why I haven't stitched this one either because I absolutely love it. I look, the little Clover up there, he has eyes, right? Yeah, why have I not stitched these? This one is Squad Goals. This would be another good one for um, scrapbook finish. They're so cute, aren't they? Sweet Tooth, because candy. Trick or Treat Couple. Oh, don't you love them? And this one, these are really small. Like this would be another good one to do on perforated paper and um, scrapbook layout. 
And then the last one, which better have my, which better, but it's which better have my candy, right? Yeah. Why have I not stitched that one either? Okay. And the last thing I got in the mail, my project bag from Craft by Chris. I think it's Craft by Chris. Okay, so I'm going to pull out her card because she put it in here. And then I'm going to show you how this nifty thing works because OMG. All right. Okay, she wrote me a little card. Thank you so much for your order. It is Crafting Chris Creations. She's in Canada. I will link her Etsy store down below. Okay, so... I bought the initial project bag. So the initial project bag has this little like loop button enclosure. And when you open it, you I mean you could buy this and not buy anything else for it. But we know I'm not like that. I love that it has a handle. It's double sided. So you can put, you could have two projects in here, right? Or your um project in one your pattern and stuff in another but the nifty thing about this one is this middle see that zipper i bought two inserts i actually bought two more after this just because they have different patterns the insert, this is for fancy floss. So you could put the whole skein in here, like Weeks Dye Works or Gast or something like that. And it has pockets on both sides for that. What you do is you can zip this into here. So I'm going to zip it in because all you do is put it like that and then you just zip it closed. I mean, I'm going to zip it closed and I'm going to show you. <gasps> now it's in the bag. Are you kidding me right now? Um, what would be awesome is, I don't know how you would do it, but if she made one of these where you could like zip her in a whole bunch of them, do you know what I mean? Um, but I bought that one and then it's very easy to just unzip it. And you know, you could even use this just with another project bag. Like my big bag that I have, this would fit in there. Meaning if I wanted to use another bag, just have this for the floss. But I also bought one for DMC because for the bobbins, because that's how I do my DMC. And this has 30 spaces. But then on the other side, if you use like one of those rings for your thread and then you could put stuff in here. Are you kidding me right now? Like my next project, I'm going to be stitching and it has DMC. I am going to, wait a minute, does it go this way? I am going to um, use this bag. Like, are you kidding me right now? Because I think it has four or five colors, another hop. Yeah. And then you just put your project, like I said, I wanted it because I could put my pattern here, floss there, and then my hoop here. Close it and go on my merry way. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic. I mean, these are so well made. I'm in awe of people that can make stuff like this because I may be able to cross stitch and diamond paint, but I am nothing on a sewing machine. Um, it's very thick. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a lot of quilt batting. It is well, well made. Fantastical. So, Thank you so much, Chris. I will enjoy. And once I get it set up with my next project, when I get to that point, I'll show you guys. Um, what I would love, though, I would love a Halloween bag like this, right? Maybe I'll ask her to make me one. I don't know if she would do custom orders, but <gasps> can you imagine Halloween fabric? Oh, my God. But, yeah, I ordered um, two more inserts that are actually just um, plain project, like, you could put a project in it. So let's say I'm going to a retreat and I want to bring like four projects. I could put one project here, one project there, do a zipper thing in the middle and then have two more and not have four project bags, have one project bag for all of them. 
the the options are limitless right but yeah aren't these fantastic like I can't right now I was on there I forget even how I found her I was on Etsy and I was searching around for like project organization or something because you know being out of the loop kind of for cross stitch for a while I've missed things I mean for sure fantastic but yeah that's all I got that was enough right holy crap but oh my god the patterns I have two orders of Carolyn Manning patterns coming one from one two three stitch and one from Stony Creek that's those are my last two orders of Carolyn Manning designs patterns because it is nuts how many of those patterns I now have and someone had commented why would I throw away a project first of all I can do what I want because it's my stuff but I didn't throw away the pattern I had only stitched like a tiny bit on the fabric and it was like a piece of fabric that not a big deal I have tons of fabric so I'd only stitched like a little square and I didn't care for it. And instead of picking out all of the stitches, I just cut that piece off and kept that piece of fabric. So what I mean by I threw it in the trash was I just threw the stitched part in the trash that I didn't care for. But I didn't throw away the pattern because I'm someone that's not afraid to change colors. So maybe I change a couple of those colors and then I would like it. Um, but yeah, so that's let me clarify that, right? But okay, I am going to get off of here because I need to eat something. We are on a lunch break from work. Um, I hope you guys are all having a good day. And I think I'm going to do some stitching tonight though for sure. We'll see. We'll see. But I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so today is Wednesday, August 4th. And my job ended early today. So I was able to film my next scrapbook layout because I finished stitching on Hocus Pocus last night while watching Floss Tube. Are you ready? Now, I'm gonna explain some things because I learned some things along the way. You know, even though I've been stitching for, I know my hair, I pin back my bangs now because they are just, I can't with them. So, <laughs> so I, I've been pinning them back anyway. Even though I've been stitching for like, I don't know, 35 years or something crazy like that, always learning new stuff, always learning new techniques. It turned out good, right? Yeah. Um, here are some things though. First of all, this layout is another very simple one. I have been trying to use papers that I already have instead of spending more money, right? So, with the stitched piece, remember I stitched this on Joblin. In the future, when I have this much back stitch, like for the web and stuff, I'm gonna do every little stitch instead of doing um, long stitches because some of the back stitch is like baggy, like you can move it. I don't like that. And also, down here, I had carried the thread and you can see it. I also think for my next one what that I stitch with Joblin because my next piece that I'm stitching is on Ada. I'm going to try to put quilt batting on this and make it a little puffy and we'll see and maybe even try to, I ordered some pom pom trim from Lindy Stitches, even try to put some trim around the outside. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it, so it's not perfect. I mean, it looks really good in the viewfinder. And we are our own worst critics. Like I say in the video, which by now, if you watch my channel, I put the video up before this, before this video. And we're our own worst critics. But this is such, for me, a creative way to finish uh, a cross-stitch piece and not have to hang it on the wall because I can just put it in my scrapbook. So, but yeah, I love the little stickers. I loved her. She was a sticker. And then this, the moon and the stars and the bat. Yeah, pretty simple. Um, they don't all have to be elaborate. I loved the paper. Yeah, I think it turned out really good. So that means I get to start a new project. Oh, yeah. So, and I have it in my trusty bag from Chris. 
So let me show you how I have it set up. So here is, on this side, I have the fabric. Um, it's Seraphim Fabrics Sunflower Fields, I think. So the needle minder I use, let me show you that. I have two needle minders because there's like excess fabric on this side. So I wanted to keep it like pinned back. And that's a like a Harry Potter one I got from um, Top Knot Stitcher. But then this is the one I got. We are the weirdos, mister. Yeah, of course, right? But isn't that fabric so gorgeous? And it looks kind of purpley. And the word witch in this piece, I'll show you the piece I'm stitching. It is stitched in purple. So I thought that it would go really, really well with that. So then I have the insert zipped in here for the DMC. Now I'm using black coffee from Crescent, Crescent, Classic Color Works. And so I just tucked them in there, but there's the three. These are the only colors that this uses, only uses four colors. And then on this side, I have down here Petite treasure braid because there's some back stitch in this piece. And then like scissors, that's the tag for the fabric needles. And then on this side, I have my readers because I got to wear readers now when I stitch. Highlighter, my lamp that I clip on, and then here's the pattern. So the pattern is from the Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue from this year. And it is called Beware of the Cat. And the designer is Medina Originals. Forget the witch, worry about the cat. Oh my God, is that not going to look so friggin' cute? And it shouldn't take me an excessively long time to stitch this. Yeah, because I have some other ones from this magazine that I want to stitch. It's so cute though, right? And like I said, the hardest part for me... I need to, I try not to look too far ahead in picking out like a scrapbook layout and things like that. When I get close to finishing is when I start looking for that kind of stuff. I have plenty of Halloween paper, so hopefully I will not have to buy anything as far as that. So everything is in here. I'm going to start this tonight. Um... I'm loving the bag. Yeah, I mean, everything's in there. So I only got one piece of haul in the mail. I bought an Oort container from Snarky Crafter Designs. I will link it down below. Here it is. It's a little wood. It says Oort storage. She has different ones. I almost bought one that said, it was funny. I forget what it said, but you just pull the lid off threads, your orts in here. Yeah. Perfect. And then I forgot that I actually still subscribe to the world of cross stitching. I know I'm getting to the end of my subscription because I received something in the mail about renewing it and I'm not going to renew it. But this is the August issue. And I normally do not like the, it come, always comes with like a free kit and I normally don't like them. I actually really like that. So I may stitch it. It comes, it comes with everything you need. The floss, the hoop to finish it, and the, um, the Ada. Although I would probably use different fabric, but isn't that so pretty? Like that would look really cute, like in our doorway or something. So maybe, but that's it. That's all I got. Um, yeah. So I'll start the cross stitch project tonight and I need to go eat something. It is 2.30 and I haven't eaten anything today. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, today is a Thursday. I almost said April. God, no. Today is Thursday, August 5th. And I'm back with another update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I did stitch last night. I started my new project. And... I'm just going back and forth with, what do I want to stitch next? And I haven't even hardly started this one. Yeah. So I started Beware of the Cat. Let me pull the pattern off so no copyright. 
Beware of the Cat from this year's Just Cross Stitch. I just got F and O done. Um, I'm using uh, Classic Colorworks Black Coffee. They called for Black 310, but I had Black Coffee. And I'm stitching this on Seraphim Fabrics and Sunflower Fields. Yeah. This is Ada. This is 14 count Ada. Yeah, I think it's going to look pretty good. And I should have some more time today to sit down and stitch because my job canceled today. So I didn't have a regular job. Okay. Someone left a question on my scrapbook finish video for Hello Summer. And they said... What is the difference between, is there a difference between Joblin Ada and Joblin Evenweave? Oh yes, there is a, an, a, yes. First of all, I have two pieces here. So I have a piece of Joblin Ada and it looks and performs like Ada. I mean, you can see the holes, okay? Um, this is a little bit softer than like traditional Charles Craft Ada, but it is still Ada by any stretch of the imagination, 14 count. This is a piece of even weave, of gerbil and even weave. You can see, I mean, it's 28 holes. You know, it's, you gotta stitch two strands over two to make it 14 count. So if you hold them up side by side, I mean, you can see the holes. You can tell there's a definite, definite difference. So I do have a video um, in a playlist that I have linked down below. Um, how to stitch on even weave because not everybody, you know, there is a difference. I mean, you have to count differently than you would on Ada. So yes, there is a distinct difference. Absolutely. Okay. Paul, I received in the mail today, the last of my Carolyn Manning patterns designs. Oh my God, you guys are going to die when you see how many I have now. I literally have just about every single one. I had ordered some from Stony Creek and I had ordered some from 123 Stitch and both orders came today. Holy friggin' moly. But um, first, let me show you. I bought some stuff. Yeah. I think I, I went a bit overboard, but yeah. So from Amazon, I decided to buy some stuff that will help in my finishing. Um, I actually bought this spray bottle and it's like a mister because I like to lightly wet my fabrics before I iron them because it really, really helps to get the wrinkles out. And this is actually made for um, like hairdressers when they want to mist your hair and not have it sopping wet. Works great. I'll link it down below. And then I bought some felt squares. Yeah, look at all the colors. Because I think when I finish that Beware of the Cat, when I do a scrapbook layout, I'm going to mat it on black felt. Yeah. So these squares, I think, are 12 by 12. No. Maybe. They might be. Um, but I'll link it down below. It was a whole pack of them. And it's pretty good quality. They feel nice like a regular felt. Yeah. And all kinds of colors. I mean, there's every color of the rainbow in there. So, yeah. All right. Patterns. So, from 123 Stitch, in addition to all the Carolyn Manning Designs patterns I bought, I also got um, Bendy Stitchy Summer Nights. I just thought it was really cute. And I've met Michelle in person. She's wonderful. I hope to see her sometime again. And then um, Blackbird Designs Snow Garden. So, this is an older Blackbird Designs pattern. I just absolutely love it and believe it or not there is one two three four five six seven eight nine there's like 12 colors in this which seems really hard to believe considering when you look at it it looks like there's like four colors right yeah but um blackbird designs love their patterns okay Get ready. Are you ready to be assaulted in your eyes <laughs> with some beautiful Carolyn Manning designs patterns? Because holy friggin' moly. All right. Summer sunshine. Ugh, can you even look at those beautiful colors? Sea turtle. 
Rose Quartz, which has some of the smaller ones down there. A Real Boy. This is a little bit of a different one, but man, that would be... I would, I would think that would stitch up fairly quickly because of the big blocks of color. How big is this? It's big as hell. It's 17 and an eighth by 17 and an eighth. Good night. That's, that's, wow. Pixie Dust, which are four small ones. I really like this one. Peridot, which, oh my God. Is that not gorgeous? Look at that. And again, it has the what, four small ones, so you could stitch the four small ones. Small ones are only, I think, eight by eight. Let me see. No, they're five and three quarters by five and three quarters, so not too big at all. Gorgeous. Opal, which is, again, has the four down the bottom. Moss Agate, is that how you say that? Agate. And again, it has the ones at the bottom. I really like this one. Yeah, oh my God, look at that, right? Monarch, which, just the colors in these. They're so gorgeous. Mallard. And this is the last of them that I have. I mean, I literally have so many now. I, I don't know how I don't have every single one in this style. Look behind the curtain. So like the Wizard of Oz, I guess. Goldfinch. Oh, God, they look like sunflowers right here, don't they? Just beautiful. Dragonfly, which I'm hoping that that is brighter in person. I mean, these pictures don't really do it justice. Seriously. Citrine, which is just gorgeous too. And it has... Four of the smaller ones. I really like this one and this one too. Chocolate covered strawberries. Mm, oh my God. I mean, pinks and reds and browns look so good together. Caterpillar. Carnelian. The colors in this, I, I, they look so bright. It must be like bright oranges. Let's see. If I can tell. Yeah, pinks, reds, oranges. I mean, look at that. And then the four small ones down here. Ah, uh, uh huh. Yeah. Blue zircon. The glass slipper, so Cinderella. Alexandrite. Mm. This one I really, really love. Blue Jay. It's so striking, right? How big is that one? It only uses one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It only uses 10 colors. It's nine and five eighths by nine and five eighths. So that one is definitely doable. Do you know what I mean? I'm still trying to find one. I really think the one I had started, I needed to give it more of a chance. Like I need to, I needed to have more of it stitched to really see what it would look like. They're all going to look gorgeous. I might pull this one out. We're, we're going to see. I'm going to pull the colors out and see what they are. This one is gorgeous too. Blueberry cobbler. Oh my God. Look at those purples. This one I really like also, Bluebird, gorgeous colors. I think this is the same size as the other one. Yeah, it only uses 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This has 15 colors in it. Again, gorgeous. I am going to start one of these soon. Carrot Cake. I love all those topazes and browns and stuff. I think this one is a regular one. Yeah, this is 13 and a half by 13 and a half on 14 count. This one I really love too, Clownfish. I mean, look at the center. That orange section is my absolute favorite. Oh my God. Sea Glass. This one is gorgeous too. The colors, Prairie Wind. This really does look like a quilt. Look at that. 
Sunshine and Flowers. This one's a little different, but I just really loved it. Isn't that beautiful? Let's see how big that is. Eight and five eighths by eight and five eighths. Stunning. Love it. That would be fun to stitch, I think. Yeah. Briar Rose. Kiss the Frog. This one is neat too. These are, this one's really large. So yeah, Kaleidoscope. Look at that. Love that. Grape Seeds. Dolphin. They're just so utterly stunning, aren't they? How could I not buy them all? Orca. Panna cotta. I love the colors in this one. Robin. A couple more. <laughs> Turquoise, which, oh my God, the blue. The blue in that, like. And they give you the four small ones down there. Shooting star, which this one might be the one I start. How big is it? 13. It, it has such bright, beautiful colors. Like, are you kidding me right now? Love, love, love. Put that to the side. I mean, look at that. And the last one is thistle. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. Love, love, love them. And no more of those will you see me buying. I literally own them all. Um, I have tons of other haul coming in the mail though. Fabric. Lots of fabric coming. And that may take a while because hand dye fabric takes a while. But I even went so far. I even ordered, I keep saying Lila Studio or is it Lila? It's spelled like Lila. Lila Studio Halloween Quaker, which was released like a year or two ago or three years ago. Love the pattern. It's pretty large. I usually don't stitch stuff that large, but I purchased it today and all of the threads, which are classic color works. And I even went so far as I went on Fiberlicious website and picked out three different fabrics that I like. So we're going to see because you're, it's supposed to look like a night sky. We'll see when it all comes in. I know I'll have the pattern and the floss well before the fabric. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's all I got. That's a lot. I know I've been, whew, been burning up the, the bank account with stuff. Um, I can't help it. I watch floss tube now and it's like, I see all the stuff I want and I just want it. <laughs> I just want it all. Wish I could stitch faster, right? Yeah. But no, I think I'm doing just fine. Um, and if I can ever get to a retreat again, like the end of September, stitching for like three solid days or at least two solid days, Friday and Saturday. So, but okay, guys, I'm going to sign off here. I hope you all have a wonderful Thursday and I will see you tomorrow for the final installment of this week. Hello, vlog. everybody. So today is Friday, August sixth and I know my hair looking jacked up right I'm getting my hair done today so I'm like why am I gonna wash it I'm gonna let them wash it because I'm gonna pay for that right yeah um appointment is today at 5 30 I really hope I mean it is gray the roots holy crap yeah but um I did stitch no haul no purchases I did stitch last night and I stitched up here. So I wanted to show you what I actually, why have I not been stitching up here? Um, when I stitch downstairs, okay, I have the big TV, so that's one draw, but I have to pull everything out of my bag. And then when I'm done stitching, I gotta clean up everything because I don't leave stuff around in our living room just laying out. Up here though, I can in my office, cause this is my room, nobody else comes in here. So I was like, oh my God, I stitched here last night. Do you see all that stuff? Oh, I do have one purchase, I forgot. 
So I purchased Heat and Bond Ultra Hold. It is um, iron on like interfacing. I used this a while ago when I first started to dabble in scrapbook finishes with fabric. I didn't want to wrap something around a mat board. I wanted it just to be flat on there. And this is a way of doing it because you cut this to the piece of fabric, you iron it on the fabric, and then you peel it off and you iron it on the, um, the scrapbook paper. You got to be careful because you can burn paper, but it works so good. And I'm like, hmm, I may try that. So I bought a big roll of it from Amazon. And okay, so my little setup here, because I have to flip the camera around so I can explain it to you. But I can leave everything out. I left everything out. All I did, I got up last night and I had my iPad sitting right there. So let me flip the camera around so I can show you. First off, here's my chair. I have had this daylight lamp here for I don't know how long. And it's so nice to be able to use that lamp versus having um, one of my little rechargeable lamps clipped onto my hoop. You have no idea. And then a blanket, of course. This is actually the, um, a blanket that my grandfather used towards the end of his life. So my mom let me have that when we cleaned out his house. And so here is, well, this is the pattern. So we're, we're going to pull that away. But my little ore container. You know, there's my stitching, my readers, the highlighter, the floss. I can just keep all of that out. Yeah, why have I not been doing that? So let's look at my progress. I stitched. I stitched. <laughs> I changed the fabric. So I was initially stitching it on Seraphim Fabrics Sunflower Fields. And I don't know. I just didn't. Oh, I know what it was. I didn't like the black coffee thread that I was using. I wanted to use DMC black. So what I wound up doing was just putting that piece of fabric aside. I just did not feel like sitting there using my stitching time to pick out thread. Yeah. So this is Fiberlicious um, 14 count Ada in buttercream. I love her Ada and I have to say Fiberlicious is probably, and I've tried a lot of fabric companies, I think she's my absolute favorite. So I was able to restitch the word forget, the, and then the W in the word which, because the way the pattern is laid out, it has half of the piece. Let me show you. Here's what it's going to look like finished. So half of the pattern, it splits it literally down the middle. So forget the, and then worry about, almost worry about is on there. And then the hat and then the cat. So you're going to see like, it's normally not how I would stitch. I would normally stitch, forget the, I would go in order. That's exactly, but I'm not. I'm going page by, you know, it's only two page pattern. So, but yeah, I can't wait to get to the purple and then like to the little motifs down here. It's so, it's so fun though. I had a lot of fun doing it yesterday. And what I did too was I propped my, I love just being able to leave it all out. I had my iPad right here and just watched floss tube on that. Yeah, it was great. And I just shut my office door because Bill went to bed at eight o'clock and I was up here till almost 10, I think. But yeah, I can just leave it all out and not have to constantly clean up and pick up and every single night, which is a pain. But yeah, do you guys do that? Do you have like a dedicated spot where you can just leave everything out? It's so nice. Yeah. Okay. So let me flip it back around so you can end this because I don't really, there's my computer. Ooh, that's really bright. Let's turn that over here. Um, it's still bright, but oh well. It looks like I'm, I'm like an angel, right? Look at the light right here. That's hilarious, right? Oh, the little things. But yeah, I need to go because we're on a lunch break and I got to eat something. So this is the last segment for um, this vlog. The next vlog, you will see my hairdo, my new hair. Um, I hope it turns out, God, you know, I've never had my hair professionally colored before. I know in all the years I've been on this earth. Um, I'm hoping she can do what I want. We'll see. I really like her and she's really good at hair coloring. So I'm confident maybe.
but yeah. Okay. So as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in next week's vlog. Bye guys.